Hello, this is Robert Hedgehog, and today I'm going to be teaching you about the basics of the language PHP. Uh, PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor, and it's a language uh, meant specifically for uh, the internet. It's not a, uh, a language just for making uh, computer programs, it's for uh, actually interacting with web servers instead. Uh, and it also happens to be the pretty much the biggest uh, programming language on the internet right now. Um, it's ahead of other ones such as uh, Perl and ASP.NET because it's really powerful and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, now you may be asking uh, how is it different from languages such as HTML or CSS? Well, HTML is it actually not a programming language, it's actually a markup language, which means that um, it only uh, describes what is shown to the user in the browser. Um, it does not really uh, interact with the web server at all. All it really interacts with is the client's browser. So on programming languages, you have stuff like variables. Um, this is also found in JavaScript, you have variables. You have functions, um, classes, um, operations, whereas um, in HTML, if you look at the source of this page, it's all tags and it all describes stuff like, oh, this is a link, this is a list, this is a div element, this is a span, this is you know, what shows up. Um, so I'll give you some examples of what PHP can be used for. It can be used for creating a membership system, a or something as basic as a contact form, with the assistance of another technology called MySQL. Um, you can make whole databases. Um, you know, pretty much every large website these days uh, uses PHP. Uh, most notably, uh, Facebook, YouTube, um, Gmail, Amazon. All these links pretty much up here. Uh, definitely use PHP. Um, so now I'm going to start teaching you a little bit how to use it. So if we open up any text editor, we can get started. Now it's important to note that you can, uh, unlike HTML, you cannot uh, simply uh, d develop your code um, on your computer. You need to have a web server, or else it will not work. So in order to do that, you need to either buy one. Uh, I mean, you can buy a hosting plan. I mean, I, I just have a $5 a month hosting plan, and that works fine for me. Um, or you can also try installing any server on your own computer to test it out, such as uh, XAMPP or, WA or WAMP. Uh, those are both servers that you can install on your computer that have Apache, uh, My, uh, MySQL, PHP, and more. So I check that out. So the first step to do is to create a folder anywhere, name it anything, really. And so say this is our website right here, a blank website. So instead of creating a file such as index.html for your index file, instead you rename the extension to index.php. So if you're going to be using PHP, then the extension has to be .php. So on PHP pages, um, you can also include regular HTML. So if I type this, you know, regular HTML tags, then it would show up just fine, as you can see here. Um, you can also style it just like regular text in HTML. As you see here, the word hello turned red. Um, so, as you can see, you can just use HTML normally. However, if you want to bring in PHP, you're going to have to use some, you know, obviously some different way of coding. So, in order to specify your PHP code from the HTML code, you have to use uh, similar to a comment, except it's instead it's 
a um, you have to use one of those, you know, less than symbol, and then a question mark. And if you're using a uh, text, um, an advanced text editor such as mine, then your PHP tags will probably show up in red like this. Um, so this is actually shorthand for notating PHP text. Um, the full hand version is um, less than symbol question mark the word PHP. Everything inside here is PHP, and then to close it, you do question mark and then a greater than symbol. So let's just move this down into our body and delete our comment here. By the way, if you want to do comments just like in HTML, you do two slashes and then uh, type your comment. That's only for one line comments. If you want to do multiple line comments, then you do slash, asterisk, and end with another asterisk and then a slash. So let's just delete that. So the very basic thing in PHP to do first is called echoing. Echoing is basically the same as just, well, t typing regular text in HTML. So hello. I type it there and it will show up the word hello. That was just regular HTML formatting. Now if I want to do it in PHP version, I type echo two quotation marks, and inside the quotation marks I type the word hello. Then after the word after the second quotation mark, I do a semicolon. Save it, and it will look just the same. Um, you can put anything inside these quotation marks. You can put regular uh, HTML formatting. Um, however, it's important to note that if you accidentally write a quotation mark, then it will make everything screwed up because it's, it's saying that the end of the echo is right here when it's actually right here. So instead of using regular quotation marks, you, you have to use single quotation marks instead so it doesn't mess up your, your PHP code. As you can see here, it just turned red. Um, so next we have something called variables. So if you delete this, so PHP is based around variable. So if you want to store any type of thing, um, whether it's number, text, or really anything, um, you need to store it in a variable. So in order to do this, you type the money symbol and then the name of the variable. Variable. You can name it anything. And then similar to echo, you do um, equal sign and then two quotation marks, and then a semicolon. And then the variable goes inside there. Hello. So then if I refresh it, you'll see that nothing shows up, and that's because I did not specify it to echo. So it's just that's just staying with the variable is. So if I wanted to echo it, I type echo variable. Make sure to put the, the money sign before that. So you see here that I am specifying what goes inside the variable called variable, which is hello, and then I'm going to echo it, and that shows up. Now I'm going to um, go over some very basic functions in PHP. So let's say that we have a variable called num for number, and then that equals um, the number one. By the way, if you have numbers, then you don't have to put quotation marks around it. So let's say we have a variable called num with the value of 1. Then we're going to use a basic function called, well, more a statement called an if statement. So it looks like this. If else statement, that's what it's actually called. So what this is doing is it's checking to see if something is true, and if it is true, then it um, performs a certain action. So if num equals 1, then echo num equals 1. Yay. <laughs> However, if m, but if, if num equals anything else, as you can see here by else, then we echoes doesn't equal 
equal one. As you can see here, num equals one. Yay! That's because the value, the variable m num does equal one. However, if we set it to equal to five, you'll see that num does not equal one. So to go over the the syntax here, the proper syntax. So first you type if space then parentheses. Then what you're going to check in here. Note that if you're going to check to see if num equals one, then you have to use um, two equal signs, not one. And then you do space, and then uh, bracket, open bracket, and then whatever you're going to compute here goes inside this area, and then um, end the uh, end the bracket, and that's all you really need to do for that. However, if you're going to have if you're going to do something else, then you type else, and then two more brackets and whatever goes inside there. If you're going to have really long um, things that are going to be done inside here, then instead of doing echo, you can simply end the PHP there and start it back up here and then do whatever you want to do in here. Hello, hello, hello. Note that this is HTML and this is PHP surrounding it. So if I say that, it will show up Hello, 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 even though I didn't echo it because this is regular HTML here. So now I'm going to briefly go over the something called the while loop. Um, while is the most basic type of loop, and basically it's similar to the if statement in that it um, checks for uh, to see if something is uh, true inside of the parentheses, and then it completes a statement. However, it keeps on, it, after it completes the statement, it goes right back and checks to see if it's true. So instead of if, it does it uh, infinite times until you tell it to stop. So let's say I sound, uh, set a variable called count equal to 1. And then I say in here, while count equals 1. Echo, um, well, I can echo the count. And then I'll echo after that the HTML tag uh, line break. Now, this is kind of dangerous because, as you can see here, it will uh, check to see if count equals one, echo count, line break, and then repeat that infinitely. So that's going to spawn an infinite number of counts, as you can see here. So that's the number one repeating uh, infinitely because uh, the scroll bar is really large and I stopped it before it could progress any further. Now if we didn't want to do that then we can do something a little smarter. So we can echo, sorry, we can add uh, the number one to count after every loop. Count equals count plus one. So what this is doing, first it's setting the number count equal to 1, then it's going to check to see if count equals 1, then it's going to echo the variable count, and then it's going to make a line break, and then it's going to add the number 1 to count. As you can see, it only echoes number 1 because um, right after the first loop, it added 1 to count, then it checked it, and since count e then equaled 2, um, it didn't compute. Now if I did something a little different, check to see if count is um, sorry less than 10. As you can see here, it echoes the numbers 1 through 9 because uh, it kept on looping. And as long as count was less than 10, then it would keep on looping over again. So that's the very basics of PHP. Um, check back later, subscribe for more tutorials on PHP if you're interested, or check out my website at andrewsuzuki.com. Uh, thanks. Bye.